Hi, it's project time again. It's about six years ago since I did a video, EV Blade 29, linked in, if you haven't seen it, how to search for an, an enclosure for a product. And, well, that was like a general thing, I think. I don't know. I haven't watched it in six years. I'll link it in. Have a look. And then I've got another one as part of my USB uh, power supply series. Yes, I might eventually do an update video on that to show you uh, what happened to that and where it got. Leave it in the comments down below if you want to see it. Anyway, I talked about our housing down there. Anyway, I'll link these in. Um, I'm starting a new project at the moment. Won't tell you what it is uh, right now, but I'm searching for an enclosure. So let's go to DaveCAD here, and this is what I'm looking for. A rather unusual enclosure, which I don't know the exact terms for it. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to search for it, uh, see if we can find something suitable in this uh, video. It's a benchtop enclosure, so, you know, about yay big, something uh, like that, that sits on the benchtop, obviously, you know, it'd have little rubber feet on the bottom or whatever, and it would have a sloped, uh, you know, display on the front here, and then uh, maybe some buttons on the front so some sort of compact uh, ABS uh, enclosure or something like that and of course it'd probably be split you know, along here, something like that, because it'd come in two parts. You've got to put your PCB. It'd probably have, you know, some little, uh, you know, standoffs in there for your uh, PCB or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking to sort of build a project around an enclosure like this. Now, if I can't find something suitable in this video, this is, um, I may not. Um, I might actually uh, just do the board and then 3D print. I talked about this on the Amp Hour in the last episode every week if you haven't seen it the amp hour with uh, Chris Campbell uh, I actually uh, talked about um, you know possibly like 3d printing a case for something like this so you know I'd have to uh, brush off my 3d modeling skills and and potentially uh, you know design my own to fit around the PCB so to speak but I just thought it, do we actually have something can we search for a enclosure like this well let's give it a go and one of the first things you could do is actually go over to the EV blog wiki, which um, has been shut down for donkey's years. Uh, should I re-enable this sort of thing so that uh, you know the the community can add uh, resources in here? Anyway, there is actually an enclosure manufacturers uh, list over here where it's um I added a good lot of these, but uh, I think but <laughs> from memory this was set up like probably ten years ago now. Um, but these are a lot of um like enclosure manufacturers so you could go to all of these sites now of course you would do like maybe google searching or you could do parametric searching on your favorite uh component uh, supply your digi keys and mouses and the rest of it uh right um so yeah anyway there's lots of uh, enclosure this is not a comprehensive list but you know you can start with uh, some of these if you've got a particular favorite you might go to them first for example so i'm actually going to google this a sloped desktop uh enclosure and well yeah you know you got your Hammonds, you got your Buds, you got your uh, Takeshi's, your OKWs, right? All your um, the, the multi comp is not a thing. That's just a <laughs> generic uh, brand name from um, Element uh, 14. But you know, Pack Tech, right? You got all the usual uh, suspects. Now you've got you know these sloped ones like this. But that's not really what I'm after because it doesn't really have that um, you know that flat. Uh, part on the front so it's just uh, the sloping starts from the front so not really what I'm after but we get in there so we might do an image search for something like this and maybe we'll luck upon something for example and this is the great thing about searching for something like this uh, even if you see an enclosure like this it can go oh I got a project idea for that enclosure um lots of my projects have started because I've seen a case that I really liked oh what can I fit into that you know like uh, these little tiny you know these little handheld ones there oh I can make something out of that right but anyway um so we've got lots of oh that's see we, we've got one here that's not too shabby. So now we're talking down here, right? We've got ones like this. And, you know, that's that's not too bad. So it looks like I'm onto something with my sloped des desktop enclosure search term. So, yeah. Um, but that's got, like, I wanted, I didn't want that big of a front panel. But I guess, like, they're optimizing uh, market forces of dictate that most people want, like, a screen up the top here and then they want some sort of large keypad thing i don't I, I just want a few buttons and indicators and stuff i kind of want the opposite i want some, like a larger uh screen on a big sloped uh surface and then just a small pan front panel for uh buttons and whatnot so 
Well, oh, there we go. That one, Bud Industries have got something like that. And of course, you can get these uh, cases often from the manufacturer. You can get them customized. So you send them your drawing. I want, you know, an LCD cutout window here. I want switch cutouts here and here so that your board just uh, slides in. And often they will actually uh, do that for like a tooling charge or, uh, you know, it depends. They might add a, either a tooling charge or they might add a uh, premium onto the case. Of course, you can just buy the case and then give it to a third party manufacturer to, uh, like a machine shop to actually do them but you know it's nicer if you get sort of like the manufacturer uh, to just do that service for you and probably a good majority of them will so yeah once again uh, big slopey fronts not really what I'm after so once again like we could go into the individual manufacturers um, but that could take hours like this video would be a couple of hours long if I went into every enclosure manufacturer and purposely went into uh, the you know into all their sections that would just be nuts right but but then again I don't want metal right so I could put in ABS enclosure or something like that that might narrow it down a tad oh I do like that one that case there reminds me of the fluke uh, multimeter that uh, form factor that I really like so if I was looking to do like a bench top multimeter format I would like that that that's really rather schmick I kind of like that see I could uh, change my design I'm not necessarily set on that but I could like have maybe the big screen on the front like that and you could argue well I could put some buttons on the top but that's just too deep I don't really want that but you know I'm, I'm the project's flexible like I'm not really set I'm just you know if there happened to be something available then I'd, I'd build the project around that if not Eh, I'll just do the bare PCB and then maybe build our uh, design the PCB in mind you might see this in upcoming uh, videos and then uh, build it in mind with that the fact that I'm going to uh, like design a two-part 3d printed enclosure to actually go around it so yeah I'm not really uh, seeing exactly what I had in mind unfortunately there's an interesting one I don't mind that but the problem with the buttons on the top is that your hand goes over the screen so from a usability point of view you're sort of like like covering up the screen and that's not really you know that's not really optimum from a UI uh, interface point of view oh look at that one slope laboratory enclosure that probably costs a fortune um, I haven't don't think I've heard of old Tinkia before but geez they look pretty schmick don't they you know if you're designing like high-end uh, like custom instruments and stuff like that where the cost you know you might pay 50 bucks for the case and you just don't care you just want it to look schmick for your uh, niche uh, customers that you're charging you know a couple of grand for your uh, niche uh, do for winkle widget as you can see like there's just so many like cool cases and stuff like that like you can get you know nice little ones like that you know ones like that right really really interesting um, cases wow you need to slope in front enclosure. Look at that. <laughs> it's just got a big flat thing on the front. Or is that the back? <laughs> I, I think I think that's the arse end of it. Yeah, so once again, like, yeah, look, they've got like a, oh, it looks like a custom width sm sloping front, front enclosures from Metcase. You know, they've got like buttons on top and things like that. But nah, Google Images aren't, isn't really doing the business here. Um, Let's go to Alibaba. Let's go sloped desktop enclosure, ABS enclosure. Let's try that. And nope, nope, nope. Oh, is there like a gallery version of this? That's better. All right, yeah, nah. That's a yeah, nah. But I think I just haven't got my search terms right. Sloping ABS case. No, now we get in the uh, Pelican uh, type cases. That's definitely not what we want. Sloping ABS instrument case. No, no, no. <laughs> Sloping desktop ABS instrument case. Maybe we've got to add the desktop. No. Nope. So it looks like you need enclosure instead of case for the keyword term. Oh, but that's that's pretty schmick, isn't it? Look at that. Desktop enclosure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, you want a professional looking product with the, the carry handles on the front and the tilting bales and everything. Oh, Bob's your uncle. Look at that. I'm going to go sloped, maybe. Not really seeing it there. That's not doing it. Just go for desktop enclosure. Yeah, we're getting we're getting case manufacturers, so that's good. No sloped ones. 
sloped desktop enclosure. No, I'm really coming to guts here, aren't I? I was doing better, far better with the Google image search. <laughs> Maybe there's not many on Alibaba, but I find that surprising. I'm going to try bench top, sloping panel, bench top enclosure. Hey, there we go. Dual face sloping plastic front enclosure. Okay, so that's kind of like the first one. There you go. Sloped controller enclosure. Okay, so we saw those on the uh, Google images. So, yeah, we get in there. Okay, so sloping, just it looks like there's just not that many. I mean, you know, any of these manufacturers, you could actually approach them and say, hey, can you make this uh, for me? And yeah, given enough volume, they, they would make you a custom enclosure, I'm sure. No, I'm really having no luck. I've tried a whole bunch of different variations of search terms, and really, I'm, I'm quite surprised I haven't really found anything nothing like what I was finding with the Google image search here. You know, slope in front enclosure here, and it's just got like a generic uh, ad for a uh, instrument uh, supplier, right? An instrument case uh, supplier. Once again, I get that sloped uh, controller. I'm quite disappointed. Alibaba hasn't come through. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below if you've got a search term on Alibaba that works. Leave it in. Oh, look at that. That's funky, isn't it? I <laughs> think of a project for that. It, it, it's a front, a fronius inverter ex, extrusion. Right, so they're r ripping off a fronius inverter, are they? Five bucks a pop, but yeah, doesn't that look funky? So here's a link to Alibaba here. So if we open that up, right, what have we got? Cost-effective dual-face sloping front plastic enclosure. There, it's kind of there. So you could actually search that manufacturer uh, Shenzhen Omkbox Co. Limited. 13 years of injection molded experience. Electronics and instrument enclosures. We could go into like the specific category as well. Maybe that's better. Slope in. Oh, oh, does that search within the category? No. Can we actually search within that category? I don't think we can. That's a bummer. Anyway, we're back to this company. Uh, plastic desktop enclosure. Okay, we've got that one we've seen. Uh, that one with the large sloped front. No, that's it. Okay, so nope, locked out. Search DigiKey for desktop enclosure. Tiny little photo down here. It's mostly white space. Uh, that's a that's a product image fail if there ever was one. Uh, there you go. That's a that's interesting little like a display case kind of thing. Who knew you could get that? No, I'm just I'm. <laughs> Just not seeing anything sloped here. Okay, search for sloped uh, desktop in Mouser. And unfortunately, um, there's no images. Well, that doesn't help me. They're, they're, there's a Pactech jobby. But no, all the others from LMB Heger. Haven't heard of them, but nope. <laughs> That's a fail. Once again, we can search for desktop enclosures here. Oh, what? No. Desktop electronics instrument enclosure. Yeah, once again, no slopies. Not seeing the love. Nope. Okay, we could go direct into the manufacturers, but as I said, um, you start going down the rabbit hole, but of course, like if you're working on a new projects, spending a day just going through all the manufacturers' <laughs> websites, like the product, the case could make or break you, especially if you don't have any skills, or you don't have the time, or you don't have the inclination to, you know, design your own uh, case. So we go into plastic enclosures. There's nothing that looks... Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got desktop -y ABS plastic with aluminium cover. They're really old school stuff. We used to be able to buy those in the 70s. Let's go to Takashi here, which is uh, those sloping cases that we saw before. They make some really schmick uh, cases. Sloped! Look at that! They have a category. Yes, I will have sloped, please. <laughs> oh, God. And now you set your step two. I go, no, no, no. Just, just... Just search. Just search all of sloped, please. So oh, they don't give you they don't give you a, a preview image. Yeah, you know, good old catalogue will uh is often the best way. You know, you flick through the old, you know, Farnell's uh you know, DigiKey catalogues or whatever, and you just search through the instrument enclosure ones. Here you go. CS series sloped enclosure. Um no, it looks like um uh, they're they're alloy. I uh, no, they've got some yeah, these are these are all alloy. So these are all extruded jobbies, or have they got plasticky? It's a big range, but no. So I followed the money on one of those Google uh, image searches I uh, saw before this Outinka uh, one. 
Um, and sure enough, plastic slope desktop enclosure. I mean, that's that's pretty groovy, actually. You can have the slope screen and the sloped buttons as well. But the problem with that is that you you got to have good rubber feet because if you push on that at an angle, like at a high angle like that, like the thing can move on your desktop and stuff. So not ideal. I'd prefer a flat that flat front so that you can push down on the button. Um, but yeah, look, look, it's got the uh, it's got a battery uh, compartment in there, and also looks like it's got a cutout for uh, like you know to get cables in the back you know like an ethernet cable or you know a dc uh, plug pack cable or something like that so that's really good um and they they make they've actually got a slope desktop enclosures category so that's pretty groovy isn't it they've got some interesting looking ones but yeah nothing like these are these are uh, lots of manufacturers make those but nothing and that one's interesting it's got a little foot on it but no unfortunately and then i followed another google image to uh baha enclosures i haven't uh, heard of them before but they actually have a um a, a, like desktop plastic uh enclosures like this and uh, quite a few manufacturers make those once again they've got some interesting ones look got some curved front ones like this you know if you you know build one of those wanky internet of things you know desktopy things you're putting on uh, kickstarter or whatever then you know something like that Perhaps, but yeah, nah, couldn't really find anything on this uh, go anyway. Might have to call it quits. I've come a gutsy here. Leave it in the comments down below, please, if you can, if you know of anywhere that sells an enclosure, a desktop enclosure like that. You know, it's yay, yay big, something like that. You know, twelve centimeters long, something. That'd be great. Leave it in the comments. But this video certainly wasn't a waste of time. Failing like this it means that oh, there might be nothing like suitable off the shelf uh, out there. I'll search some more, of course. If I do, um, I'll do a part two uh, video or I might add it on to the end of uh, this one. But yeah, leave it in the comments down below. Um, it, it may be that I'll just design my uh, PCB that just, um, you know, sits um, on a bench on its own. And then maybe I can make a way to hold up the uh, LCD at sort of like a sloping angle or something like that. You know, the switches can go directly on the boards and then you can either use it as a exposed um, desktop, benchtop unit, or I can design a 3D molded case, like two-part case that slips around the existing open frame PCB design easily. So yeah, that might be quite nice. And I haven't figured out like the uh, battery solution and stuff like that. And the board, like there'll be stuff on the back um, panel as well. So it'll need some uh, cutouts for, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, battery solution, don't know yet. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. There you go. So I thought I'd have a quick look and sometimes you fail. So that's this video. I'm not, <laughs> I'll search a bit more, but there you go. Please leave it in the comments down below. If you can find an enclosure like this homework i'll leave it up to i'll crowdsource it actually i won't i won't spend any more time on it myself i'll simply crowdsource this can anyone find an enclosure like that off the shelf anyway hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful if you did please give it a big a thumbs up as always discussed down below catch you next time <laughs>